Final touches before we leave for Spain. Mm. Getting personal. I'm packing for our trip in Spain. We'll fly to Zaragoza, take the train to Teruel, start cycling. That's my first biking trip, so it'll be nice, good experience. I look forward to it. Can you tell me how you feel right now? Nervous. Mm. How the gods are on our side today. Yeah, We've made it to the airport, but now we have to carry these two giant boxes for like a kilometer across the entire airport. Elsa is taking a break because she's exhausted. They're not light. Uh, usually it's just us in a backpack, and but now it's the bikes. The airport of Charleroi doesn't have any carriers, so we have to carry it by hand, and it's quite overwhelming, but we're managing. Can I help you? Just gotta make sure we're putting them on the right way. Yeah, I know. I am tired, very tired. It took probably close to two hours to get these bikes fully packed and built and all set up. Everything's kind of just bulging and stuffed in there right now, so we'll have to do some adjustments tomorrow, but we're here, everything's together, and now we got an hour ride to the hostel. Let's do it. Oh. Yeah, what a day. Oh, damn, what a day. I'm exhausted. Yeah, that is not good. We are four kilometers into the start of our route. The mud is completely seals the wheels and they'll no longer turn. We call this peanut butter mud. Crema de cacahuate. Look at my shoes even. Mud everywhere, horrible mud. We'll have to clean the bikes now before we even start. What do you think, Alicia? I'm thinking hiking is easier. <laughs> All right, let's go. Reminds me a bit of Utah here. <laughs> yeah, it's nice with the juniper and the, yeah. the landscape open. Our first night camping bike packing. That's exciting. That's so exciting. 
Shall we set up our... Fuck, I wish we had marshmallows. Tent and ground sheets. And the poles are in here. Mm. We just finished our very first day bikepacking together. We ended up riding all told probably close to 30 kilometers since we had to ride out and then turn around with the mud problem there, but we're just outside of a small town called El Campillo. The fountain wasn't working, so we asked, hey, senora, for some agua. I think the temperature is gonna go around freezing tonight. Could go under freezing, and it's pretty windy, so. Too cold. Too cold in Spain, for heaven's sake. And at the Spanish beaches, people are already sunbathing. But no, we go to the mountains, of course. Yeah, maybe one day we'll take a... The tanning holiday. We should. Nice veggie chili. Yeah, we're having veggie chili for dinner tonight. Just what I said. From the decathlon. Mm-hmm. Favorite store in the world. Yeah, like half our stuff here is from decathlon. Yes. Like a good lemony taste, huh? Yeah, like a lemony tomato taste, huh? Mm -hmm. mm. Well, some information about the landscape. Mm. Mm. First, I light it. We're one kilometer into the, our morning and we're back into this crazy mud. It seized the bikes off and yeah, we'll just kind of push through the grass here and try to keep going. So is the trail. Yeah, nothing to do but leave the Oh, yeah, it's fully impassable. And I'm gonna, my derailleur is gonna end up breaking. Be really careful with that. <laughs> Here's a question. Mm -hmm. Would you rather be here? Doing this with the bullshit or in school? I don't know. It just saddens me. I want to be, I want to stay in this forest and I don't want to go to the road. So I hope it stays dry. Fingers crossed for sunshine. Yep. Oh boy. Not a good start. Oh, well, we're right back to our campsite. But there's a paved road over here, so I'll just ride out onto the pavement and then continue on to El Beracin. At least out here, it's my own choosing. I get to choose to be out here. I'm still outside in a beautiful place. I'm doing something I love, so the bad times will pass. The roads will dry out and we'll be cruising again. A lake in Spain. Nice. Yeah. 
Revving steady? Yep. This is probably the last rain shower. I hope so. On this entire trip. Hey, it's snowing. Wow. Yes, that's that snow. Snowing? Wow. We're not too far from El Barracin now, we're like 15, 14 kilometers. At least the roads are decent now. It's been really fun riding the last like 10 kilometers, so we had some like legit gravel roads that aren't just all mud. Be careful, there is poo there, so don't go to Tell the right. Tell me, what are your impressions of uh, bike packing right now? <laughs> it's not for the faint of heart. Uh, tired, happy, grateful, but it is rough because when you backpack it's just you, your body and your pack and now it's a bike and it's not just your feet, your feet can handle a lot and bikes have certain conditions and certain limitations. Like mud. Like mud. Oh my god, it's snowing. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Guess who's bleeding? Let's do it. Yeah. What's happening right now? We're about to leave town. It's day three now, and we're about to climb into the mountains. We're leaving the town, a beautiful medieval town. Reminds us of Bruges a little bit. We'll miss it. <laughs> it's like from a fairy tale. But it's time to keep moving.
El pan. El pan. From the best bakery. The entire region. <laughs> Yum. Wow. Now that is lunch. Now that is lunch. We bought those in the teensy tinesiest bakery where there was a long line of people waiting. A real authentic bakery where they still bake the bread in the oven. Um, an older couple who runs the bakery. It's incredible. It's really good. What do you want? All three? Uh, or just a hand? Whatever you think, whatever you're making. Wow! Oh, <laughs> good. No! We come from Bruges, where it's completely flat and it's at sea level. And now we're at 1500 meters climbing to almost 2,000. So these climbs and the elevations really kicking our butt. I'm feeling it. We've done almost 1,000 meters today. And <laughs> yeah, we still have hundreds more to go if we don't camp early, which I think we might. <laughs> How are you feeling? Yeah, butt kicked. Butt kicked? Butt kicked. Just refugio tonight. It's supposed to be a really nice one, and we're really hoping to make it there. It's another 20 some kilometers, so time to get a move on here and have a nice cabin to sleep in tonight with a stove because we're looking at freezing temps tonight. All right. Aye aye. Aye aye, Capitan. Aye aye, Capitan. Refugio, here we come. <laughs> Actually, let's eat one of these. All this climbing is good for us. <laughs> Steepest hill in the world. Yeah. Just missed the snow. We were just too tired to go on. <laughs> Isn't that right, Leafia? That is actually You know? I don't get it. What don't you get? This door. That door? Yeah. What's not to get? Come take a peek. Oh, it snowed a bunch up here yesterday. We got super lucky. They had, I don't know, multiple feet of snow. It's melted all pretty quick, but you can see there's still a good bit left. We have a jar of the bolognese sauce, but no tortellini go with it. We did have some emergency food, thankfully. We're having two bags of, uh, I don't know, pasta carbonara. Basically the same, I guess. Just not quite as good. <laughs> Cheers, Lee Chu. Cheers. Salud. Salud. Woohoo, that's hot. Tea. Morning of our fourth day. Mm -hmm. Yesterday was kind of a butt kicker. Yeah. I want you to tell me how you feel and how yesterday was. Okay. Yesterday was a lot of climbing. Um, 
and I feel it in my body. Not in my bum, strangely enough. I think I have a lot of cushion there. <laughs> um, but I feel it in my back. Yeah, I feel it mostly in my back. So fortunately today is a little more relaxed. In the morning we have one huge climb ahead. But after that, things flatten out a bit and it becomes a bit more balanced. So that will be nice. And we might be able to cycle a little bit more today. So tell me, before yesterday, what was the most you've ever climbed on a bike in your life? I haven't. Yeah, Belgium's flat. Um, well, where I live at least, it is flat. And um, I've been riding bikes since I was little, but always around my home area where it's really flat. There are even no hills. Where my father lives, there are hills, but I've never um, ridden a bike there. So have I ever climbed with a bike? No. <laughs> Oh, it was all new to me. Oh, the gear shifting and um, yeah, everything. Um, yeah. Coffee tags. All right. You ready? That's on. <laughs> the forests are full of people who are waiting for the snow to melt and now that the snow has melted they're like picking mushrooms. I think it's too soon for berries, but it must be mushrooms. It's fun. People obviously really like the forests here. Okay, yeah, because we can't stay in those refugios anyway. So we'd miss a little town in that big ass climb. All right, cool, let's stay straight on then. How hard is it to drive and use a camera? It's not easy, right? No, it's not easy. Oh. We just saw our first wildlife. Three deer. Crossing the road. They're kind of big, huh? That one was very big. Yeah. Okay. With a little bit of luck, we'll see some more. Camera out already. Wednesday morning, we decided to cut off a few kilometers of a big climb basically to a refugio. We're kind of two days behind schedule with a train mishap and then with all the mud and everything. So it's nice to just cruise this beautiful road and uh, continue on the route here. puppies. Gato Negro. Your snow melts. Where are we? 
we were at the start of the River Tajo, and the river runs for about a thousand kilometers um, through the Iberian Peninsula. Iberian Peninsula. We were wondering what Tajo was. We were thinking bull, but that's Tauro, and Tajo means block. Anyways, it's beautiful. It's modest, it's small, but there are like several strings coming together and yeah. Can you tell us where we are? We are in uh, Arifugio. You can really smell the smoke of the fire that's in here. Charcoal graffiti, which I really appreciate. At least it's not permanent. Sleeping wise, maybe there's a wooden platform on the floor in the other room there, but as far as like a dinner lunch spot to hang out in, it's yeah. really nice. Um, this one's right off the main road here, so we'll move on. Try to get another 25k here. Yeah. Nothing. Nope. Day number four of bike packing. How do you feel? Good. The sky's pretty. Tell me how many kilometers you rode today. Seventy. Seventy kilometers. Tell me in a full sentence. I rode seventy kilometers today. <laughs> again. <laughs> I rode 70 kilometers today. <laughs> sure I'm again. More convincing this time. I rode 70 kilometers today. 65 would have been good. The last five were too much. No, actually just the last kilometer. That was too much. <laughs> to cross the river and Nope. That's where it stopped. But the sky's pink, so that's good. And what's happening now? Well, we're gonna eat after we find water. We're next to a church, I'm praying. And we're gonna go into Refugio and hopefully enjoy the heat with uh, two other people. And then eat and then sleep. Are you ready for some sleep? Yes, I am. Overall consensus on the Cameras are so annoying when you're tired. <laughs> She's such a trooper. She rode 70 kilometers up some steep mountains and not easy, not easy riding out here. Yeah, and we're getting here. Obviously, it's sunset right now. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm pretty tired, so I know she's tired. <laughs> yeah. But it's really, really, really beautiful here. Let's go get some food in this because I'm hungry. Welcome to the Refugio San Lorenzo. There is a Camino that goes around here, so many hikers use the Refugio. Um, let's take a look. It's a pretty one. So we've got four beds, nice and tidy, a stove, warm yourselves at the fire at night, and some trinklets from other hikers. I think these are herbs, corn, soup, honey, sugar, beans, <laughs> a mirror. <laughs> Um, little trinklets, little snacks, yeah, even some weed. Viva España. First aid kit and a nice note. No breakfast. Yeah, gonna do apple, 
some bars. Mainly, they always eat the chicken curry. Good breakfast. Apple and chicken curry. Where's your plate? Or your read out the bag? It was very cold in the night. Our water froze a little bit. We're getting pretty low on food, so we'll have to resupply today as the villages were closed last night when we went through. We had a super chill morning in camp today, but now it's time to get out of here and get into town. This is a vacation as much as it is an adventure for us, so it was nice to sleep in and rest relax out here just gotta quickly pack up the stuff here and then oil our chains and we'll be rolling <laughs> it's like a quick little break at these beautiful cascadas, little cave here. What are you filming, Ryan? I'm filming a bunch of sheep crossing the road. Is it worth it? <laughs> yeah. Hundreds. <laughs> wow. This place looks like a mini Zion. Although mini, but yes, not as big, but wow. It follows the river Tajo and it's incredible. It's not red, but the mountains are more higher, majestic nonetheless. And we weren't expecting this, so it's even, <laughs> it makes it even better. There were about five to six condors flying over. First, we thought it were eagles, um, but turns out it are Spanish condors. God damn. What a place. It's heaven. You're such a sensitive little ladybug. Yeah. We have the other side. Got a little crazy last night. We had to race into town and we got here just after sunset, kind of rolled into town in the dark. This section was so beautiful that we really just had trouble going. And we also, we decided to get a hotel in this town that's a little bit off the route, but we didn't make the decision until like three or four o'clock and it was 40 kilometers away. So then as we're trying to ride and get here we were so distracted by how beautiful the landscape was that we just kept stopping <laughs> to take it all in and to try to capture the beauty of it all so yeah we got in really late pretty tired pretty saddle sore so today our mission is to find a beautiful spot along the river set up camp and just chill we'll call it a nero yes. buenos dias como esta <sighs> Cansado. Cansado, sí.
Oops, me too. Yo, Tembien, yeah. Very tired. I'll just move your bike here. Alright, there we go. Ho oh, oh. ho. My bum hurts a little today. Some saddle sores for one. <laughs> We just left the town of Boveda de la Sierra, a little mountain town, and we're following the big river Tajo now, the one that we've been seeing when it was this tiny, and now it grew really large. It's wonderful to see the evolution of it. Today is a chill day. And why are we taking a chill day? Because we deserve it. <laughs> Last few days have been challenging, 70 kilometers, 70 kilometer ish and um, so it's time to rest up a little bit We're going to make some eggs and bacon now, have a nice lunch. And it's two o'clock in the afternoon, so we're just gonna chill for the rest of the evening. Just rest, relax, read, right. You did all the reverbs that I can think of. <laughs> Reintegrate. Reintegrate, rewild. Rewild. <laughs> all right, here's the eggs. I hope they survived. <laughs> and bacon, yummy. Nice, that's exciting. Ooh. The bacon's getting nice and crispy now. Almost time for the eggs. Mm. Uh, nothing better than bacon frying out in the wilderness. Mm. <laughs> Next time we'll need to pack out some ketchup or something. We bought this Kaios not knowing what it was. And now we finally got a translation. It's beef tripe, it's intestines. It looks gelatinous and very red and saucy. Oh. <laughs> I'm sure it'll be good. Should I put it in there? I don't know, Are you sure about this? Oh, it looks gross. Oh, it looks so gross. The secret here is not think about what you're eating. Just eat it. Mm -hmm. You wanna look at it? No. <laughs> smart, very smart. Just eat it when it's done. There's the scary things. 
scary. And how does it taste? Oh yeah, like fries and beans and meat, nothing too special, but it's hot food, so. The sausage is good. It's or just a sausage? And meat. I think that's one of them. Yeah. There was only like two or three hummus. There was a tiny bit of bacon too. Oh. I was checking the route. It's like 300 kilometers to make for that cutoff through uh, Turlo. Lots actually. Oh, let's roll. It's so insanely pretty here that it's hard to bike or actually get anywhere. So hard. These giant waterfalls, it's absolutely perfect road here along the Tahoe. It's a beautiful day, beautiful day. What do you think, Lisa? Chef's kiss. Oh my god. We're climbing away from the Tahoe now and we hit pavement. But we're climbing into 40, 50 kilometer per hour headwinds. We do have a town in like five kilometers, Zoriejas. So we're gonna get a sandwich and drink a cola. Yeah. And a cappuccino. And definitely some coffee and a cappuccino. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it's hot. And also pretty vague, pretty, I don't know, strange weather. Strange weather. With this overcast sky? Yeah. Yeah. Quite the view of the whole forest here. We're in the haze, in the clouds. It's super rickety up here, a little sketchy. With all this wind, it's kind of, you can really feel it wobbling, but. <laughs> Can't get inside it though, it's closed. Little tiny door down there. <laughs> wow, all right. Now well, let's see if we can get down through here. The uh, staircase is super narrow. It's like a tunnel with wires. So it's kind of tough with my camera bag here, smacking off every one of these posts. <laughs> but hey, I made it. Yeah, not in the hospital apparently. Mm -hmm. Wow, that was cool. Definitely a little sketchy. Hmm. Baby, it's time. It's Sunday morning, the 7th of April. We are in Bateta and we have 210 kilometers to go, roughly to finish our route. We're taking a short cutoff to finish early because we have a train back to the airport to fly to Bruges on Wednesday. So we have to be there by like six in the morning. So three days to do 210 kilometers, 70 some a day, and we're done with our route here. I'll miss it. Are you feeling up to 70 kilometer days? We don't have a choice. Wrong way. You ready? <laughs> 
very windy again and there's a lot of smoke I think from forest fires and we've got a long way to go and I'm waiting for Ryan as usual. Oh I didn't mean to zoom in. How do you go back? Oh yeah, they're in the north though. I wonder where the fires are though. Are they any good? Uh, they need salt. They need more salt? More salt. Is that literally a cuckoo bird? I think so. Oh. They're fast. Why did the caterpillar cross the road? Brutal. Absolutely. Brutal. Brutal indeed. Cool. Harsh. Sweaty. Cruel, harsh, and sweaty. Very good, Matt. One o'clock. No food. Just chippies. Sun. <laughs> I know that a lot of people hate music on the trail. I'm one of them. Except for difficult stretches. I totally get it. But I'm gonna play the devil's advocate here. And if it's silent, if it's just you and there's no one else, you're having a tough time, and you forgot your earpods at home. Yeah, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Half an hour ago, we were riding the highway, a mountain highway, not too busy. And then we took a left up the hill off road, but the tracks were still pretty wide and it was gravel and how spoiled were we. Now we are on a smaller path, like what you would call a hiking trail, really. Um, special, I mean, it's good for mountain biking, um, and we can do it and our bikes can definitely do it but with luggage it's a whole lot harder uh, it takes a lot of uh, physical strength to survive the humps and bumps and go from left to right uh, yeah it's it's intense you got snagged yeah what happened snagged by one of these oh no <laughs> but i can see the appeal of mountain biking without too much luggage <laughs> strapped to your bike. It's still fun, but it's intense. Do you agree? Oh, I most definitely agree. Fun, but intense. Yeah. Bumpy. Bumpy. Challenging. Bumpy, yeah. Easier than single track, but uh, double track. Yeah, double track. Lumpy double track. Go for it. Oh, here goes nothing. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, well done. My feet are wet anyway. Well done. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. <laughs> Hello, Ryan. 
For once, I'm waiting for Ryan. Ah, there he is. <laughs> it's a beautiful evening. It's uh, Sunday, Domingo. Everyone's quite drunk. <laughs> so we'll have to be careful on the road. There is Ryan with the drone. <laughs> How bad are we in talking to the camera? We can be kind of awkward sometimes. Yeah. Especially together. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> when it's just one of us, it's not so bad. It's more natural. Yeah. But when we stand there together trying to talk to it, then it's like, hello, um, is it your turn or is it my turn? I don't know. <laughs> but we can try again, eh? Bye bye beautiful cabin. Goodbye beautiful cabin. This was yeah. a really wonderful stay. It was. Yeah, nice Ooh. little couch to sit and read on. A little strange dubbed Spanish television. Yeah. <laughs> American television dubbed into Spanish, I should say. And where are we going today? Well, we're gonna try to ride as close to Tyrol as we can. Yeah. We're hoping to make it somewhere near like Rubiales. Probably won't get quite that far, but yeah. we're like 100 kilometers from Tyrol from here, so. That ought to be a nice, decent, just two day ride. And then get to Teruel for our train at 6 a.m. Wednesday morning. Back to Zaragoza. Back to Zaragoza, then a flight to Bruja. Mm -hmm. The end of our journey. The end of the journey. Yeah. Almost. It's been really fun. It's I really been enjoyed fun. this. Me too. On to more bike rides. On to more bike rides. Ooh, what are you doing? Oh, packing up my bike here. Mm What do you see there? Two beautiful horses. Right in the same pose, with their ears perked up. Maybe he's just resting. Hmm. They're interested. Mm -hmm. okay. Goodness, these last 10K or so have been really challenging. There was a lot of super muddy, rutted out roads, a lot of rocks, and now super steep descending here. The Montanas Vasius is throwing one final challenge at us here. And Ilsa is having a really hard time with it. She's kind of had enough. This is really pushing her abilities, descending on these rocks and these super steep mountains so it's hard it's a lot of upper body strength and it's a lot of bouncing over these rocks and she shouldn't be too far behind me there she is yeah tough riding 
So we got 20k to Alobras where we're hoping there's a restaurant open. We're pretty much out of food, so we really need this restaurant to be open. Like 15k to go. How are you doing? And I'm how busy. How was that last stretch? Uh, I didn't enjoy it. I didn't think it was fun. Uh, I was too tired and my body too achy. And uh, I'm happy that it's over. I'm happy to be on pavement. What didn't you enjoy about it? What made it so hard? The bonkiness, going from left to right all the time. And the focus, and because I don't think it's because we don't have enough food that I'm not focused enough. And I didn't feel safe. You have to keep your wits with you all the time. And if you don't have enough nutrition, then it's really hard to stay focused. And then you get... The last of our food. That's a dramatic ending. This was supposed to be a nice, peaceful, fun ending. Now will be food for the condors instead. Dramatic starving. Oh, last bite. <laughs> there we go. Wish us luck. Come you right off. <laughs> yeah, we'll feel better with some food and everything. Mm. So, uh, yeah, it's super cute, beautiful place here. And then tomorrow we finish out the route. She's not feeling too well. Describe our stay here. Yeah, um, the owner of the place is Juan Pedro. Um, the house is really old, he doesn't even know how old it really is. Um, every room is like almost in a different style, um, but it feels real, you know. Uh, it's timeless, um, super cozy, you feel right at home. A lot of books downstairs and little artifacts and little thingies. It's really fun, a beautiful view of the town too and the mountains, La Montañas, Las Montañas. Uh, we had a great extensive dinner, <laughs> three courses, which we never expected. At the end, we drank some herbal tea and a little herbal shot of. Yeah, herbal alcohol, his own brew, really good. Uh, so yeah, I feel totally, totally ready for the last day. It was a good stay. Happy as a baby. Mm -hmm. What did you think of our stay here? Top notch, really glad we stayed here. Yeah, we were curious too about the Casa Rurals. Um, and they turn out to be really, really, really fine. Yeah, yeah. homely, friendly, um, you feel welcome. So much authenticity and character. Yeah, it's been amazing. <laughs> well rested, too well fed. Too well fed. <laughs> <laughs> Happy as a clam. Happy as a clam, huh? Yeah. A cycling clam. <laughs> oh, it's 
cold. We're in Termont, five kilometers from where we slept. <laughs> There's a lot of wind. We're big babies. So we're gonna drink a coffee. Again. <laughs> Last day, right? Last day. There we go. Tormon. Yeah, Tormon. the accent. Tormon. 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 <laughs> Ooh. And the other one's <laughs> the other one's leaking so uh, efficiency people. Okay. We just completed the climb through Toromon and now it's basically downhill to Teruel, maybe 25 kilometers left and our route is complete. It's safe to say that wind sailing is not my thing. I've never tried it and now I know I never will. <laughs> is it windy today? Uh, it's so windy. <laughs> Do everything not to get knocked off the bike. What the? What the? Uh, you enjoyed the trip? Oh, it's been incredible. Yeah, it's been such a fun trip. I haven't been on a bike tour in two or three years now, so it's been really nice getting back on bikes. How do you feel? Stronger. Stronger, definitely. Yeah. How else? I still need to reflect upon that. I'll let you know. It's hard to describe. It, it's been a week, but it feels like so much longer. I don't know, you're like seeing your old self, who you were a week ago and how much you've changed. <laughs> Americans. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Full circle. Full circle. I mean, it's true though. I feel more connected, more quiet. I feel more like at peace now after all this time outside and in nature and it's a fun feeling. I feel more focused and just, I feel better now. Yeah. <laughs> See you in the bar. 